In this Masters of the Air Episode 5 clip, a bomber crew member has deployed his parachute after a freefall bailout. A German BF-109 is making a strafing pass firing his two 7.9mm machine guns. In the Episode 7 clip, a bomber crew member relays an account where during the March 6, 1944 mission to Berlin, German pilots were strafing crewmen who had bailed out. The intent of this video is to address the accuracy of this claim. Did German fighter pilots intentionally shoot at parachuting bomber crew members? There were no ratified agreements between World War II belligerents prohibiting shooting at parachuting crewmen. The 1923 Hague Rules of Warfare, Chapter 9, are listed on this page. Article 20 indicates that when a crewman bails out of a disabled plane, he must not be attacked during the descent. These articles were not ratified or legally binding. The U.S. was aware of this risk to crewmen and issued guidelines to freefall descent down to an altitude around 5,000 feet prior to parachute deployment. There are additional benefits to a long freefall from a high altitude bailout, as discussed on this page from a declassified March 1945 Army Air Forces Board document titled Parachute Questionnaire Project. The study surveyed bomber and fighter crewmen who bailed out over Axis controlled or friendly territory. Those who bailed out over the right control territories were repatriated back to England through either escape or evasion. There were 1,709 8th Army Air Forces crewmen who were repatriated in 1944, as extracted from this Maxwell Air Force Base reel A-5836. None of the repatriated U.S. personnel were escapees from the Stalag Luf POW camps. The benefit of a long freefall includes Quicker descent eliminates the need for a high-altitude bailout oxygen bottle, minimizes susceptibility to frostbite, reduces G-shock injury from a high-altitude ripcord pull, reduces the likelihood of strafing by enemy aircraft. This table lists the country of bailout and number of crew members fired upon. Of the 838 B-17 crew members who participated in the study, 91 were fired upon. Since 261 crewmen bailed out over England, this implies 91 of the 577 crewmen who bailed out over Axis controlled territories were fired upon, or 16%. We can roll up the values for the other crewmen flying who bailed out of their bombers and fighters. The rows represent the aircraft type, bailout totals, bailouts over England, bailouts over Iraq occupied territories, fired upon, and percent fired upon. So roughly 17% of heavy bomber crew members were fired upon. Interesting that the P-38 pilots were fired upon three times the rate as P-51 pilots at 32% versus 11%. The document provided no rationale for this large discrepancy. The Germans must really despise the P-38s. Note that the survey is for returning crewmen only, so there will be some heavy survivor bias as only those who were captured, injured, or killed by gunfire were not part of the survey. I suspect the number of heavy bomber crew members fired upon is larger than the 17% value from the survey. In summary, the Masters of the Air episode has accurately depicted the strafing attack, and although there was no mention of any strafing parachuting bomber crew members in the March 6 operations narrative documentation, it is feasible that it occurred.